Does it feel like everyone else has RV life all figured out, but you somehow are struggling with it? I have some solutions for you next. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. I have been camping since the 90s and a full-time RVer for the past four years. In fact, I just recently bought camper number nine. In this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite upgrades and modifications to make RV life easier. First, I want to thank you for moving me closer to 100,000 subscribers. YouTube gives out a special plaque when you reach that milestone, so I can't wait to show it to you. So thank you for subscribing. I walked out of my camper on a Saturday morning. It was about 730 and I was surprised to see new neighbors. They were just setting up their travel trailer and I was like, well, wow, you guys got an early start. And the wife said, well, Actually, we got here last night, but we forgot the keys to our camper. We had to go all the way back home. So my first favorite upgrade is a keyless entry by RV Lock. I've actually had one for the last three years. Now it's a little bit different for the motorhome, so I'm going to talk about that. But in general, having a keyless entry when you're in a campground means you can go in and out of your camper. You don't have to worry about keys. And if you do have a travel trailer or fifth wheel, it's so easy on travel days. If you're stopped on the side of the road and you want to run back to the camper, say use the bathroom or something, it's just so easy to use the keyless entry. Now RV Lock did not have anything for motorhomes until recently and then they came out with the Atlas. What I love about mine is it has a special feature and that is a Bluetooth module. What that means is I can lock and unlock my camper from my phone. If you watched a recent video, you probably remember that I was sick in bed. From my bedroom, I was able to unlock my motorhome and let somebody drop off some tea and honey. So it's really a great convenience. Now, the installation, this is really important. If you have a travel trailer or fifth wheel, the RV Lock, most likely you're using V4.0. That's the one that I've used for the last couple fifth wheels. It's really easy. You basically take out the old and put in the new. Now for the motorhome, you just wanna make sure that it's compatible. If you belong to a Facebook group or a forum, see if anyone has installed the Atlas or just call the company. Just know it's not gonna be a quick and easy install. You may even need an angle grinder. The installation, I had it done professionally by an RV tech. I think it took about an hour and a half. So there might be a little bit of fitting that needs to be done. I think it's absolutely worth it. I will have links to RV Lock in the description. Now, when I got this motorhome, I left my RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding behind in the fifth wheel. This motorhome came with a Beautyrest mattress and I knew it was good quality, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna stick with that. Well, I started waking up with sore hips and a stiff neck. The reason why is I learned through Brooklyn Bedding that the firmness of mattress that you need depends on how much you weigh and the style of sleeper that you are. I think I spent my entire adult life sleeping on the wrong mattress. As I got older and I'd wake up with aches and pains, I thought that was normal. Well, then when I got the Brooklyn bedding, I woke up pain free. So I went ahead and got another Brooklyn bedding mattress. I have the Aurora Lux. Once again, I get to wake up pain free and I even had back surgery about a year ago. So I just feel so great waking up refreshed. Now, Brooklyn Bedding makes it easy because they ship the mattress to you. This is very convenient if you're a full-time RVer like I am, or if you're traveling. There's even free shipping. Now, the mattress can be heavy. If you're a solo RVer like me, you probably will want some help getting it in the door and also unwrapping it and getting it on the bed. It's actually kind of fun because the mattress puffs up. I chose soft for my Aurora Lux and it truly is like sleeping on a cloud. It's really easy to order on their website. They offer a 120 night sleep guarantee. If you don't like the mattress for any reason, you can send it back. Because they're designed for RVs, they have a lot of the RV sizes like Queen Short and King Short, as well as Standard Queen and King. You can save 20% on an RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Just go to rvmattress.com and use the code LizAmazing. And I want to thank Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. 
My 2005 motorhome came with a backup camera, but it was original, so it was a 2005 black and white backup camera. Now, when I back into a campsite, I often use traffic cones, and I had a hard time seeing them in black and white. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna upgrade the backup camera, and I'm gonna get side cameras, so that when I'm driving and I use my turn signals, I can see all the way down the side of my motor coach. Let me tell you, that is a great way to make RV life easier. So I decided to go with the best company out there, which is Taddy Brothers. What I love about them is when you call them, they listen to your unique situation and help you buy the right product. In my case, they said that the video wire that goes all the way from the monitor in the front to the camera in the back, they said it's not going to work for the new video and that I either can run a whole new wire or do as they suggested and get a wireless transmitter. So I did exactly that. I also like that when you purchase with them, they immediately assign you with a tech so that during installation, you call and talk to the same person if you have any questions. Everyone who purchases also gets an email with information about what they just bought, including installation videos. Now, for a limited time, Taddy Brothers will give you 15% off. Just use the code LIZ15. Well, if you watch the video tour of my motorhome, then you saw the condition of my lead acid batteries. They were just covered in corrosion, but I didn't know that they actually were on their last legs. The charger kept staying on because they actually were not holding a charge. Luckily, I had already decided I wanted to replace them with lithium. Lithium batteries have more power, a longer lifespan, and they weigh a lot less. When the RV tech came to switch out the old batteries, he said he could actually hear them boiling, whatever that means. Let me know in the comments, because I'm kind of curious. Anyway, I'm super glad to have lithium batteries. I went with Rebel batteries, and I'm glad that I got them just in time. Now, if you watch that same video, you also saw my struggles with the power cord. I could just never get it unplugged from the surge protector. I mean, it would take me two or three minutes. Well, I got three great suggestions from you and I did all three. Number one, I had the power cord cut inside the power cord compartment and I moved the surge protector there. That way I didn't have to worry about ever unplugging it again. It was safe, it was out of the elements and it was just too big to try and fit through my access hole. Number two is I replaced the end of my plug because it didn't have a handle. I replaced it with one with a handle. So even when I go to unplug from a power post, it's going to be a lot easier. And then number three, I widened the access hole so it could accommodate this new plug. To recap, some of my favorite upgrades are the keyless entry RV lock, the Brooklyn bedding mattress, the backup camera by Taddy Brothers, the lithium batteries, and the power plug updates. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share, and let me know your favorite RV upgrades. As always, these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing.